Welcome back. We're here with Crazy Patrick Almond, and we're this is true. <laughs> Crazy Patrick Almond. <laughs> there he is. Right, and we're going to talk about the guy that is um, on YouTube mm -hmm. all over the place right. who shot his daughter's laptop. Right, right. This is a, yeah. It's a gentleman in North Carolina, and just to give everyone a quick backstory, there was this father who recorded a YouTube video showing how disappointed he was in a posting his daughter had done about him ranting about her parents and how her parents should pay her for the chores and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. And the father got tired of it mm -hmm. and said, well, this is, I, I warned you once, I warned you twice, third time's the charm, laptop meet my gun, and uh, hilarity shall ensue. And this thing had, <laughs> Here it I is. thought, 10 or, 10 or 20 million videos. Yeah, there's the video up there. And uh, this is, this is when I first saw this, I have to admit, as a, as a frustrated sure father, I was there. See, there goes the 45 right there. I think he, I think he empties about seven or eight wow. shots into it. It's beautiful. You know, the first thing I thought all those, what I first saw was, well, first of all, it's a beautiful gun. Right off the bat. Wow, that's a nice looking gun. The laptop, I'm a geek guy. It wasn't, it wasn't that powerful of a laptop. But, but the first, one of the first things I thought as a, as a frustrated parent, as we can be sometimes, is all, this is great. Oh my goodness gracious. Why didn't I think about this when my daughter was chilling the house with her laptop? Yeah. And then when you really think about it, you know, the, a lot of people have pointed out that, you know, who's really the adult in this situation? There probably sure. could have been better ways to handle it besides yeah. shooting up a laptop. But, man, that yeah. first reaction, when you first see that, you're just like, oh, this is the greatest <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, it, like you said, so often we mm -hmm. are uh, just so frustrated that we do things that we probably regret later. Mm -hmm. So the, I think the real answer to this is don't film yourself <laughs> Sure. Exactly. <laughs> sure. It's true. You can, you it's know, true. There, there's no plausible deniability after right. this. <laughs> At the same sense, he, he, he let out his frustration. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. But then after the video reached millions of views, right. people like the media started to contact him mm -hmm. to get interviews and whatnot. Right. He still denied him. He said this wasn't the point of it all. So exactly. There was, there was a point of. Uh, he was showing what was who was in control mm -hmm. here, but at the same sense, he didn't take advantage of the situation. Exactly. So in a way, he, he did yeah. what he wanted to do. Yeah, I thought it was very classy about that. He had been contacted by several places, uh, Dr. Phil, all those places to do interviews. Uh, the Sheriff's Department came out. Uh, I think we understood that the Sheriff's Department gave him a high five. Uh, <laughs> Department of Human Services came out to investigate him and said everything is, everything is legit. He, had, he keeps yeah. his guns locked up. He keeps his ammunition separate away from, from the weapons yeah. themselves. And uh, one thing that one the good part that did come out of it is he was already in the process, I think, of raising some money for MDA. Wow. And he told people that came to watch the video, he said, you know, rather than, than watch all this, why don't you take some action and donate some money to MDA? And he yeah. raised quite a bit of money for MDA. Oh, well, good for In him. the process. So. Wow. And it seemed like, at least the last time I looked at this, mm -hmm. and it's been a while, and you'll know better than I, what? but the people that were responding to it were, it, it was weighted very heavily in that they agreed with him. There were certainly... There are a lot of people that said, oh, come on, yeah. and, you know, poor, poor daughter, and, mm -hmm. you know, all those How's she going to do her homework but, now? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, paper and pencils. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Who does that anymore? Travesty for days. <laughs> Give me the vapors, but yes. <laughs> exactly. Her hand probably doesn't work yeah, anymore. Yeah, yeah, she's used to doing this. <laughs> How does right. this work anymore? Yeah. There's another humorous side to this. The, the daughter had her updates hidden from her father, mm. uh, and I read a little bit of the backstory of how I found out. They created a, a, a Facebook account for the dog. <laughs> and the daughter's account had access. To, the dog had uh -huh. access to the do dog had access to both accounts, and the father signed in as the dog, yeah. and happened to see the happened to see the updates. Ah. And because she blocked her parents, she blocked her it. parents, but, but not forgot, the dog. Forgot about the dog. Yeah, the dog can read it. <laughs> Thank goodness she wasn't going after the dog. Exactly. But, uh, <laughs> oh, good. What if she said some bad things about the dog? That could be oh, a bad thing. Oh, exactly. yeah. Then the ASPCA comes yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. There, yeah, there were okay. whole another story. There were there were a whole bunch of ways that this ended up viral. He didn't mean to upload it to YouTube. He didn't. He tried to upload it to Facebook only for her to see it, but Facebook wouldn't take it, so he said, oh, forget it, I'll just go to YouTube and I'll upload it there. Yeah. One thing leads to another, you know, 10 or 20 million views later, here we are. It's wow. funny. Well, it I mean, but it does show you the power of social media. Exactly. If it does nothing else. Exactly. And I was in the green room listening to you guys talk in the beginning of the segment about yeah. Uh, Angelina's jo Angelina Jolie's leg. Uh, yeah. yeah. It has a Twitter account. It does have a you Twitter account. You weren't kidding. It, did you look it up? Yeah, Angie's and did you follow right it? leg. 12,000 followers. At over, what is this? One night. One night. 12, I, it took me two or three years to get 19,000 followers. <laughs> Her leg has. Hey, that's all you got to do, man. That's right. Yeah. Cool How many will Owens get? Yeah, oh, I meant I was. I didn't have time to create that. But I wasn't going to create that. <laughs> <Twitter> <laughs> he was going to get on. 
five five followers and then banned by Twitter. Do us a favor and reach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But then people, my, That's funny. my Twitter friends were reminding me that James Harden's beard has a Twitter yeah. account, and Kevin Durant's backpack also has a oh, Twitter account. Oh, his little account. sexual thing? Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Cool. That's so. funny. <laughs> well, if you have qu questions, you can always go to askpatrickallman. Just, just, just ask. ask. I knew that. Just ask Patrick. Just ask Patrick. Sorry, I should have known. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't correct Lynn on Lynn's couch. Oh, please do. <laughs> no, please. Oh, Lord. Just ask Patrick. There we Tom. go. There we go. There we go. And he will answer all kinds of questions. He mm -hmm. is brilliant, wonderful, great sense of humor, and he's cute. So yeah. what else do you need? Got that going for saying. me too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Patrick. Thank leg. you so much. <laughs> well, there's more ahead on Oklahoma Live. Stay with us.